Even though dogs are pretty popular pets, there are a lot of weird things most people don't know about them. For example, sniffing butts, humping legs, licking our face, and even chasing their own tail are all things that just don't add up. It turns out your dog has a reason for those weird behaviors. We will discuss the meaning behind all of these and more. But first, let's discuss one of the most confusing things dogs do, getting the zoomies. Almost every dog owner has seen their pup running around everywhere with no end in sight. We know these as the zoomies, and you probably think that it's a sign that they are really happy. But unfortunately, it has another less positive meaning. It can also be a sign that your dog feels depressed or anxious. But why? Well, one of the most common ways they get the zoomies is if they're not getting enough exercise. All that energy gets stored up in their body, and eventually it becomes so much that your dog just can't stop running around. We will go over the right way to give your dog exercise later. But first, let's discuss a secret ability dogs have, but you've probably never heard of. Panting. Normally, when we humans run or do exercise, our body heats up and produces sweat. But dogs don't actually sweat. Instead, their way of cooling down is by panting, which in turn helps them stay cool. Also, they have sweat glands in their feet, which stops them from overheating. But while this is pretty simple and nothing to worry about, you'll definitely be surprised by this next strange thing dogs do, circling before they poop. Imagine your favorite place to sit, whether it's at work, your home, or anywhere else. You would naturally be upset if anyone decided to take that spot for themselves. Dogs feel the same way and are very territorial when it comes to places where they walk and more importantly poop. So in order to mark their territory, they have special glands in their paws. That's why when they're running in circles, they're actually leaving behind their scent, sort of as a sign to other dogs that this is their spot. This is always good to know so your dog isn't upset. However, this next weird dog behavior means love and affection. Licking you. To some people, a dog's lick may be absolutely disgusting, and that's understandable. But keep in mind that every dog wants to show love to their favorite person and best friend, you. And so, a dog licking you just means that they love you a lot and want to provide you affection and make you happy. And if that wasn't heartwarming enough, a lot of dogs may do this as a way to groom you by removing loose hair, dirt, and sweat. This next weird dog behavior is one of the weirdest things dogs do. But before we get into that, please consider subscribing to our channel for more entertaining and educational dog videos like this one. But anyways, without using up any more time, this next behavior is one of the weirdest yet most adorable things dogs do. Chasing their own tail. All of us have seen our dogs trying to chase their tail at least once or twice. If you worry that this is a warning sign, I assure you it's completely normal. Dogs are playful animals, and when they see some hair dangling behind them, it's another thing to play with for them. Sometimes, they even do this to relax and feel better. Luckily, this dog behavior is completely normal. However, let's go over one of the most outright embarrassing things dogs do. Humping legs. Before we move forward, let's make it clear right now that humping is mostly not sexual. While we see it as indecent and bad, for dogs, humping is just a playful activity that allows them to release a lot of stress. If your dog is humping a pillow or a stuffed toy, 
then that probably means your dog just got excited and overstimulated and is now trying to use up all that extra energy. We will discuss the best ways for your dog to release their energy later. But first, let's go over a behavior that is a clear warning sign, winking. For us, winking is related to stuff like flirting and charming others. However, it's a completely different story for our cute canines. Most of the time, your dog winks when it has some irritation in their eye, which can be really harmful if left unchecked. Let me put it this way. Let's say you're at the beach and some sand gets into your eye. Normally what you would do is blink a lot and rub your eyes to get it out. Unfortunately, dogs don't have the same abilities we do, and so their last resort is trying to wink. If you see the problem doesn't go away, I highly encourage you to take them to the vet ASAP and get that checked out. But anyways, let's move on to this next behavior that is kinda embarrassing, getting stuck after mating. Now, the first thing you need to understand is that dogs mate in a similar way to humans. However, female dogs only get fertile once or twice in a year, which means that it's very important that they get pregnant during that time. This is actually the reason why this happens. Both the dogs need to make the most of the opportunity, so they remain together for a while after the act, making sure nothing goes to waste. But let's move on to the reason behind a behavior that dogs are famous for, tilting their head. When it comes to this cute behavior, there's really one main reason why dogs tilt their head. It makes it easy for them to listen to you. Your pup's hearing is very limited and they can hear properly only at some locations. If you're behind them or right in front of them, for example, they won't be able to understand you since their ears are developed to focus on sounds coming from their sides. It's really heartwarming because it shows your dog values what you have to say. But if you thought that was cute, this next dog behavior is really wholesome too. Sitting on your feet. Dogs sit on your feet for many of the same reasons that you would sit near someone you love. It's comforting and for your pups, it's their way for them to get close to you and is one of the ways they show you affection. This could be because your dog is nervous, so oftentimes they sit on your feet thinking that you will protect them if anything happens. We will talk more about heartwarming things dogs do, but let's first talk about the next really strange thing dogs do. Lick their paws. Dogs' paws are extremely sensitive and have many different uses. For example, dogs have cushions in their paws to help them walk easier. But they can also get hurt or dirty very easily, which is why dogs lick their paws as a way of self-grooming and ensuring their paws stay clean. However, this can also be a warning sign too. If your dog only licks one of their paws or licks their paws for long periods of time, it could be a sign of an infection or blister. But while this behavior can be a sign that something is wrong, this next adorable behavior is a clear sign of love and infection, burrowing in your clothes. As I mentioned before, dogs have a crazy good sense of smell. They can smell one tablespoon of sugar in a body of water as big as two Olympic swimming pools. But where am I going with this? Well, many of us have work and other responsibilities, which means we can't be with our dogs all the time. So our dogs burrow in some of our things as a way to remain close to their favorite person, since your scent is very important to them. Isn't that just so cute? But this is not the only wholesome thing dogs do. 
because this next thing shows a lot of love. Staring at you. One of the simplest reasons behind why your dogs do this is because they just love you. Think about all the people you care about. Obviously, you'd want to know what they're up to and would want to spend time with them. And the exact same thing is true for dogs. And to take this one step further, if you stare back at their eyes, it will make them really happy. When you gaze at their eyes, it increases their oxytocin, which is the love hormone in their body, and in turn helps build a close bond. Last but not least though, let's talk about a thing dogs do that seems weird to us but is totally normal to them. Sniffing your crotch. A dog's way of seeing the world is to smell, which is why they just love sniffing things. But sometimes dogs don't have restrictions as to what they choose to smell. In this case, your crotch. Your groin often has a lot of body odor and pheromones, which dogs love to sniff. Your pup most likely doesn't know that it's an inappropriate area because for them, it's just one more cool place to explore. So next time you see your dog doing this, just gently teach them that this is a no-no zone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out this next one in which we discuss the 14 everyday things that seriously hurt your pup. See you there!